Hello, welcome, happy Friday, people. How are you? Kerry Waring here. And for those of you that don't know me or my work, I'm a psychic medium investigator who loves supporting um, developing psychics and mediums to strengthen their connection to spirit, enhance their readings, and really be the successful and confident mediums that we all want to be. And I'm coming to you this afternoon with a little bit of train of thought, a little bit of, you know, I want to plant a seed. I want you to get, to get you thinking about um, something. It, it seems recently I've come across quite a lot of a train of thought out in the community there in online land where people are using the term intuitive and the term psychic um, interactingly or um, with a sense of actually it meaning the same thing, really, interchangeably. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> yes, they're using the term intuitive and psychic interchangeably, essentially, especially in the coaching world, using it to describe what they do, but also interchangeably and essentially that it means the same thing. And I'm going to disagree a little here because to me there's a very big differences between being intuitive and being psychic. And it really comes down to how we receive the information. Now, most psychics will all be intuitive, but not every intuitive can be psychic. And I just want to share with you, and of course, while I'm discussing this, if you have questions, let me know. Um, but I certainly want to just explain the technical differences behind what's going on in the soul and the energy for you with what's going on here so that there is a greater clarity around this um, because I think it's about education, it's about perception and I really do think that the reason why people are interchangeably um, using the term psychic and intuitive is because a lot of people t seem to have a bit of an issue with calling themselves psychic. So, so let's talk a little bit about, just for a few minutes, about um, differentiating what's really going on. So every, all of us are intuitive. And, yes, I believe that all of us can be psychic and all of us can develop mediumship. But we all have a natural inclination to be... Um, that's great, Lee. Thank you. Um, you know, you know, we all have a natural inclination for, for us to be intuitive. It's whether, you know, even... Um, hi, Adrian, I hope you're well. You know, even the most non-spiritual person will at some point in their life operate on a gut instinct or describe it as a gut instinct. And um, I know for me, my intuition, intuition operates from within. It operates from the core within me. You know, it comes from a sense within um my core in my center, you know, in my in my gut, essentially, you know, it comes from within there and it's just sort of like just a knowing. And we all have that. We all have this sense of knowing that something's going to happen or a sense of knowing of what is right for us and what isn't. A sense of, you know, if you simply define it, it's that sense of knowing that when you meet someone, um, that you have a sense of, oh, okay, um, you know, I don't like this person, you know, I don't have a good feel about them, you know, but you don't know why and you don't know where that information comes from. It's just simply an intuition. Now, essentially, your psychic abilities actually sit on top of your intuition Um in a roundabout way because our psychic abilities are an extension of our hearing, our sight, our um, intuition, our feeling abilities, um, our smells, you know, so those everyday 
five senses that we have, our psychic abilities are an extension of those. So with our psychic abilities, we see visions with our clairvoyance. We hear thoughts with our clairaudience. We have extended feelings and knowings and real, you know, we get pain in our um, bodies for our clairsentience. You know, so while keeping it just limited to the three Cs, there are uh, other extensions of your clair, your clairs. You know, there's the smelling gifts and the knowing and all the clear cognizance and all of that. But let's keep it simple, just down to the main common three, which is your clairvoyance, your clear audience, and your clear sentience. Now, these are an extension, and while your intuition might interplay with them, it's if you are um, being psychic is more than and an extension of being intuitive and yes it takes for for those that are naturally um gifted and have those abilities going on great for a lot of people and this is what i'm here to help you with is to extend yourself into those become proficient with those but there is a difference between being intuitive and being psychic now what you do with that information that you receive through your psychic abilities and your intuition, what you do with that information is your choice and your intention will certainly set the work that you do. So an intuitive, a psychic still may be able to on some level predict the future and work in that way. An intuitive a psychic can still work with the soul for healing, for doing all of those. That comes down to your intention of what you do with your abilities. However, I just want to share with people the understanding that there is a difference between your psychic abilities and your intuition. And just to clear that up, really, because more and more I've feel like a sense in the online world it's getting more and more confused it's getting more and more interchanged where people are using the word intuitive to you know instead of clarifying their psychic abilities or the other way around you know um you know so I just because they're not the same thing you know it's if I'm going to see um someone that is a psychic I'm expecting their abilities to be more than just intuitive um, if I'm going to see an intuition I'm not necessarily expecting that they're going to be able to do what I can do or have their or their abilities working I am however going to expect that they would have a strong sense of intuition so um, so I just wanted to you know start this conversation let's talk about it you know what is your understanding of being intuitive and using the term intuitive in describing what you do and what is your understanding of the word psychic and how does that how do they differ you know like i know i've got a couple of you some of you watching here you know how does that differ for you you know what does that mean what's your um What's your views, you know, what's your views, the difference between an intuitive and a psychic? Because the processes of how we receive the information are different. Um, I would not expect an intuitive to be receiving necessarily clairvoyant pictures, clairaudient thought. Um, I would expect their intuition to be coming from the core of who they are um, and and sometimes it's also um, more of a, you know, you can't always sort of know when your intuition is going to happen or going to occur for you if you're um, going about your daily life. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to have this conversation, get the thoughts out there, just let's talk about it. And um, by all means, if you watch the video, you have a question, whatever it might be, um, don't be shy in asking and 
in asking a question and extending your knowledge. So um, other than that, it was my Friday afternoon thoughts. So um, have a great afternoon and um, a great weekend as we head into that. So um, God bless and have a good one.